Good morning. Um, I had the camera set for, or uh, yeah, the camera set wrong. I did set two photo, not video. So, um, good morning. I am in Spain. I have uh, near Barcelona, just reloading. Um, tipped Monday morning, well, kind of 11 o'clock or so. Um, no backload yesterday and just started this morning to come to here to load. Um, I was only about parked up about 20 minutes away beside where I tipped. So handy enough this is a load for the UK don't know whether I'll be shipping in or um, swapping it or what don't know what the plan is I'll see once I'm loaded um, yeah that's that's it really um, give me in here and I'd wait about quarter of an hour or so and then was told go on bay three uh, you start counting uh, one two three yes first lorry red lorry is at one you count one two three okay I understand what three is <laughs> but no uh, nice fellow in fairness um, no problem and they're loading away not very fast but they're loading away at the same time which is good and today is way way milder than yesterday which is also very good because yesterday the heat was cruel um, and Monday as well yeah it's showing 26 degrees there now on the phone yesterday and Monday it was about 34 or 5 which was a bit too much um, yeah that's that I'll update you when I get going don't know what I'm actually loading um, I know where it's going but I think it might be some food but I have a I have a tilt or a euro liner on so um could be biscuit or bread or pasta or something I don't maybe the crowd I'm going to do other stuff I think it's just food distribution they do I'm not sure I'll let you know in a minute right I need to sort out my TIR card do, 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 do. I'll try to do it without getting grease all over myself.
Right. Let's see, can we sort all this out? So, tread this through the whole way. You're going to see nothing there. Um, I don't know where I can put you really. But you thread, thread it through all the buckles so that they can't be opened in theory. They're all good and tight. Curtain is secure, so it should be all okay. But these lads have ways of getting into these trailers. Obviously, they can go into the roof or whatever. But um, the last time I did it, what they had managed to do was pull pulled down so much in the curtain that they were uh, able to slip the buckle out from there and get up then get up inside the curtain then that way they did but they were able to get a couple of um, the buckles down that way um, some five or six of them along the side I once did them loose, we'll say. They were able to get up inside. What can you do? Uh, if this would go through, sorry, I'll just have to continue this without the camera. So, mission complete. The TIR cord goes through all the buckles. Um, before you do it, make sure they're all tight. Make sure the curtain is in properly. Through that. So, through all the door handles. All the way around. And then seal it. Right, so that's sealed. Always check before you do so that the, the doors are latched in properly and stuff like that. That your your curtain is um, in properly in the top corners and all them kind of things. Nobody underneath. Have all that checked. Right, we're ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, I'm loaded up, ready to go. Um, all sealed up and whatever, as you have seen. Uh, I just put Sharbert into the um, sat nav even though there is a good chance I will not be going to Sherbrooke um, I don't know which way they'll ship this in uh, whether I'm shipping with it or not I don't know that either but um, for the first
first part of the trip, I don't need to know. Um, by the time, by the time I'm up um, into France, I should surely have details by then. And uh, I'll be going the same route as far as there anyway. So that doesn't matter. Um, a load of how many pallets is it? Full load, 26 pallets, 5.9 ton. I don't think so, but anyway, I think it's lighter. But um, uh, Takis or something. That's what's written on a purple box. Don't know. Are there some kind of a biscuit or a bone or a cake or bar? Something that way I'd say. But I honestly don't know. The um all they put in the CMR was food. And on the delivery note it just says um Takis. And the quantities and sizes and whatever so I assume some kind of a biscuit or a bar or something that way um, I won't be able to film much on the camera there because it will probably start overheating fairly fast um, I still don't know what to do with that problem. I remember that any any time I came to Spain, that was a big issue, and or Portugal or anything um, that way. So um, that's why I don't have. I'm going down here. That's why I don't have. Um, many video well I don't do many trips down this direction anyway it's a bit um, doesn't show well for Barcelona when all the matrix signs on the motorway are saying highway robberies watch your belongings all this kind of stuff um, it's, it's sad to see that's the age we live in. Can't have anything nowadays. Right, back in France. Um, only just crossed the border there now. Uh, got um, diesel in La Jonquera. And just crossed in and came to this big queue of traffic don't know what the story is um, there's no reason why it's going slow southbound and I don't know why it's going slow northbound but just queue of traffic kind of out of nowhere Here, a big, a big um, toll plaza could be backed up from that, maybe. But uh, yeah, just have to wait and see. Um, I'm after getting details. I was told to um, head towards Paris, and she will try and swap me there with someone. some other lead take it into the UK um, yeah and I would I would be guessing that I'd um, 
get a trailer off the other driver and take it to Cherbourg or something. I don't know. And turn there. Don't know where far, no plan. But um, I'd be guessing that would be it. Or the other driver could give me a trailer that's already loaded or that he brought from Cherbourg or somewhere going on so somewhere I don't know but um, then again the plan for turning mightn't work out at all and maybe I'd be told drive on to the UK with it with this one you just don't know but um, I'll make my way to Paris uh, 10 hours from here, well 10 hours 7 minutes there now and what have I, I have 7 hours 22 today if I do a 10 hour day got a quarter of an hour in La Junquera and I'll um, have another nearly just under two and a half hours so I'll do the most of that take my half hour and do another four and a half and that'll be enough for me um, see where I get around that time so that's the update so far talk to you later nice views from up here Malau Viaduct. I videoed this before, I think it's is it the highest in Europe or something?
is here. plan I don't have a schedule but I have a plan and we'll go with that for the moment until it changes if I can get out of here They put the bollards at that entrance. But anyway, I'm out and away. Um, right, I can't exactly remember where I was in the last clip, what's new there. But uh, I was on the way to. I think I told you that it changed from um, turning in Paris to turning in Calais. So got up to Calais last night, uh, swapped with another man. He gave me an empty fridge. Well, there were actually four empty pallets in it, which I sold. Um, just four pallets left over from a delivery that he should have dropped off or well I don't know whether it was him or the lad before him I, there was some swapping and changing but anyway there were four empty pallets um, and I needed to load a full load here so I went into Dunkirk there's a pallet place there sold them there into the truck stop parked up there last night down to here this morning and uh, here is um, south of Lille uh, kind of by Mons there but on the French side of the border um, still in France 
So I came here and loaded a load of uh, Tesco baguettes, I think, or petty pan, or whatever you want to call them. The old oven bake ones, or whatever. But um, yeah, full loaded them. And I am dropping in Dunkirk and I think the plan is at the moment I am um, they're shipping one out to me for Sweden for Gothenburg so haven't been that direction in ages so it would be nice to get up there um, as I always say, it would be nice to get further into Sweden, but sure. They don't come up too often, so what can I do? But um, that's it, because I had... Um, what day is today? But today is Friday, so I don't know whether I don't think the trailer is in Dunkirk. So whether it's being shipped today and will be out say Sunday that I get my 45 done, or whether I actually only need a 24, I'd say. So maybe. Um, Maybe it would be a case if the trailer was there, I'd head up the road and take a 24 on the way or something like that. I don't know, I don't know what the schedule is, but um, say there might be a chance that it might be take um, my break in Dunkirk now and head on maybe Sunday or something. I get up there yeah should be up there say parked up and all by half one yeah half one at the uh, I don't know let me calculate uh, 10 half 11 half 12 yeah, say two o'clock. If I parked up at two o'clock local, I could go at eleven o'clock Sunday after forty-five. Yeah, I'll we'll just have to wait and see what the schedule is. Um, as I say, I only need a 24, so... And at that, I could take a 24. I could wait till Tuesday morning early Tuesday morning because I had a 24 in Barcelona on Tuesday but it's, you're better off not to count that unless you need it because it just upsets your if I took a 24, I could take a 24 Tuesday, but I'd still need a 45 then next weekend. I think. I'm not rightly sure what way that works. Um, when you're taking a, if you're taking a full break, if you're doing a full week, each time and, and taking your break midweek 
which is perfectly fine it's easy to calculate but when you get a random break unscheduled like obviously I didn't need that 24 Tuesday but I know I'm waffling too much I can't explain it I can I can keep track of it myself but trying to explain it is awkward that's the biggest problem with um, driver's hours um, they're very hard to explain they're they're straightforward if you're taking your straightforward breaks say well ideally 45 every weekend but 24 45 work it that way take your compensation you can explain that easy enough but when you if you if you only do a three day week and take a break if you take a full break full 45 you're grand you're, you're starting from fresh then but if you only take a 24 you have a break taken but you're not starting from fresh you still need to repay that and it just gets a mess I can't understand why they can't just make it simple 24 45 24 45 24 45 like If I take a short break today or this weekend, I have to repay it in two week I have it re repaid in two weeks' time. So if I'm tired this weekend, getting sleep in two weeks' time makes it okay. It's a stupid rule. But anyway, people with um oh, that's my Oh, that's just to drop details. Um, people with suits and clipboards are paid money to come up with these brainwaves, so I just have to follow them. Um, weather a lot cooler today. It even tried to rain last night and got very windy, but. It's still kind of warm. It's odd. But uh, yeah, that's the crack. Let's get this show on the road. Um, I'm in Finn Lines or PO, whatever you want to call it, in um, Zeebrugge. And they seem to be in the process of changing this whole place around. Just picked up my trailer, I had a 45 here in Zeebrugge. Well, like the out of the garage. Um, but yeah, they, they seem to be changing this whole place around. Um, hopefully, with a view to it being a bit more organized. right in front of me there it was the um, one of the main trailer parking areas and that is completely jammed packed with I think they're all Teslas is there anyone buying them
He's right there, all Teslas, and they all look to be the same model. Black or white. There's the very odd, odd color. There's a few blue ones there. There's a silver one. But there's more navy ones over here. I can see they're all the same model. Yeah, so uh, I hear it is Sunday, uh, just uh, 12.15 Irish, and um, I've got a trailer for Sweden. See, they've all this yard cleaned out and fixed up as well. Whatever way they're going to set the whole thing up. Gothenburg for Tuesday, so um, try and get as close as I can to nine hours done today. Nine hours driving. Come on, lads. to Gothenburg for uh, Tuesday morning. that's including time on ferries and stuff I'm not sure what way the the sat nav works that way because 99% of the time right uh, sorry about that the um, the camera overheated and stopped recording
going to uh, Holland. So, um, I'm in Mir there now. Just came in, I'm not in the truck stop, just came in to the AS24 to get fuel. Uh, where do I do the. the, the just came in here to get fuel and this thing isn't picking up a signal
frost so I took no great notice and I was coming on down the road and I got a phone call from the office to say the fridge wasn't running it was all on the tracker and whatever so it obviously put up an alarm on the tracker um, because you wouldn't really notice the noise of the fridge driving along so you wouldn't notice it going off but um, 
was just further than I expected and um, by the time I was parked I was about four minutes over my four and a half hours drive time so I did a print out for that and marked it in the diary and whatever so should be okay that way
I need park when I don't need parking I need to turn on my fridge and make sure that it is running or will run or whatever Seconds. Right, so the fridge is running. Still showing up that alarm, but it's starting whatever now, so don't know what the story is there. Um, select in mark, okay.
Vær opmærksom på sikkerhedsskiltning placeret ved dørene. Rygning er kun tilladt på sugdækket. Øl, vin og spiritus sættes i butikken på dansk farvand. Og før du krydser grænsen, efter cirka 10 minutter sejlads, vil et signal i højtalerne indikere dette. Vi ønsker dem et behageligt overfart over Øresund. Welcome on board, Orsons Linien. The crossing takes approximately 20 minutes. Please note the safety signs by the doors. Smoking is only allowed on the sun deck. Beer, wine and spirits are sold in the shop while we're on Danish waters. After approximately 10 minutes, you will be informed on the inter- Right, I'm in Sweden. Um... I'll just put up the clip there of um, coming out of Helsingborg port. It's, it looks very pretty. So I just took that in the phone as we left. Um, I was actually straight on, no swap, no stop, not even a minute. Um, just scanned the ticket and Um, uh, it said lane 2 and there was only three trucks in lane 2 and they were up up the front of lane 2 we'll say and I was at the back of lane just as I was joining lane 2 and they were moving on so I just kept going I was just down to the start of it and I thought I'd be stopping and waiting for the next one but I was signaled on straight on to the ship and straight across it's only about 20 minutes that one the um the one out of put garden to um rodby is about 45 50 minutes so uh three hours to go um only an hour and 50 left unless I take a half an hour break which I might do because um, I like to get closer than that for the morning 
Sweden. Bridge is running but still giving trouble. Um, yeah, still showing it out. Engine runtime maintenance and cooling cycle check. And there's a lot of different alarms come up as well, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of different alarms coming up. Is, um, which is in big trouble, me thinks. Just doing my checks. I'm here in Sweden in the Circle K. It's secure parking. All look good there. That's good. All is good. Um, yeah, that fridge is in big trouble, as I say. Um, it's what. The circuit cooling alarm, alternator alarm, uh, maintenance alarm, loads of different ones coming up at different stages. Uh, sometimes it just cuts off and I just have to restart it. But sometimes the screen goes completely blank and nothing will work. And you have to, oh, nice, nice rigid there, smart looking rigid. Um, sometimes nothing will work, so I have to open the open the engine bay and just go as if I'm going to cross the starter and then it, the first little spark at all wakes up the whole system so it's some I don't know is there some ECU or something in them that it'd be gone faulty or to some electrical thing I would assume because that spark seems to wake up the whole system and start it up again so yeah that's me uh, my um, fridge was so I'll just finish my checks and talk to you later
I'm going to finish up this um, finish up this video here uh, I delivered the load um, the um, yeah uh, delivered the load and just parked up here back where I was last night and waiting for instruction so now I am told to head for Germany um, so I'm just going to make a cup of tea and I'll be off but um, I'll end the video here thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and chat to you on the next one bye